today's video I'm gonna do this cranberry festive holiday makeup look um, I thought I should do, because I already did a Christmas look and a New Year's Eve look So I thought I should do one just for the holidays in general so you have more ideas So if you want to see how I achieved this look, please keep watching Before we get started, please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it Subscribe to my channel, please, right here And ring the notifications bell So without further ado, let's get into the video Okay, so we're gonna start off with this cranberry makeup look and I'm just using my Too Faced concealer to prime my lids in the shade Light Beige, as always, nothing new here. So as you can see, I got a new camera and I'm still working out the lighting situation and like the zooming situation. Let me know in the comments down below, is it okay like this? Do you want me to be more zoomed out when I do my makeup? So yeah, just let me know which one you prefer. By the way, I already did my brows and I just use the same routine as always. I'm not gonna do my brows with you guys because otherwise we're gonna be here for five hours and we don't want that. So just to get a head start, I thought I should do them off camera. I have a brow tutorial, so if you wanna see it, I'll link it up here. So for this look, this is gonna be like a cranberry holiday festive look, so you can either do it for New Year's or for Christmas. I already have a Christmas Eve makeup look and also a New Year's Eve makeup look, so if you wanna check those out, I will also link them up here. But I thought I should do one that's like more in between just to give you more ideas. I saw this video from Brianna Fox and she has this holiday cranberry festivities kind of look and it looks amazing so I thought I should do one as well. Brianna, I really doubt you're watching this but if you ever, will, if you ever watch this video, thank you for the inspiration. Um, I'll link her channel down below so you guys can check her out. She does really beautiful looks. So now that the concealer is blended. Okay, so I have a bunch of palettes here and they all have so many cranberry shades. I am probably gonna start with the Huda Beauty palette, this one right here. And I'm also gonna combine it with the Petty Beauty palette, this one right here. I'm gonna go in with my Beauty Bay brush, this one right here. It's called Round to Blend. And I'm gonna start with the shade Musk as a transition shade. And I'm gonna add this shade first. I'm just gonna place it on the other corner and then in the crease and then letting it out. I'm also gonna mix it in with the shade Eden and I'm gonna add that in my crease as well. By the way, do you guys have a look in mind of what you're gonna do for New Year's? Have you thought of any makeup looks? Or you won't do any, or you're just gonna wing it out? Let me know what's your plan. I'm curious. Okay, so I want something like this, super soft. And I'm gonna do the exact same thing on the other eye. The lighting is a bit trash today because the Sun keeps on going in and out of the clouds, so I'm sorry about that. I think I'm just gonna switch to the Tati Beauty palette because I feel like the shades are a bit more cranberry here than in the Huda Beauty one. So I'm gonna start with the shade Poet, which is this one right here in the corner. I'm gonna add that to my outer corner just by adding very tiny, very small patting motions. Yeah, this is more what I was looking for. For the inner corner, I'm gonna take a smaller brush and add that cranberry shade. I went a little overboard and I don't wanna drag it all the way in, so I'm just gonna clean up a bit with that same brush I used for my concealer. I don't want it to be like all the way in. Going back in with my tiny oogle brush. I'm gonna add a bit more. Then I'm gonna take the shade Story, which is a bit like orange. And I'm going to add this to my crease. And now I'm going to start blending these shades together. I'm going to use my Morphe 330 brush. And I love this brush because it's not very harsh on your eyes. No matter how hard you press, it's just, I don't know, 
it's like super soft. So now I'm just gonna do the exact same thing on the other eye. Next up, I'm gonna go with this shade right here, also cold foil, but it's the lowest one. And I'm also gonna add that just to my outer V. Sorry if you can hear my heat pump, it's just like it's very cool in here. So I'm just gonna add this right here using stapling motions. Okay, and I'm going to use my M330 brush from Morphe just to blend that out. And since I did not do my base, I can just clean up as I go so it's a lot easier. And I can have like a super sharp line if I want to. I'm going to add a bit more. So you want to work in layers, you don't want to add too much at once. And now I'm going to go in with my Zoeva 227 brush, even though it's a bit dirty, but YOLO. Because I feel like I need this brush to blend out the shadow, like it's more specific. Now I'm going to take the shade Aura, which is just that white shade, and I feel like I need to Clean up just a bit right here because I went a bit overboard. And now it's time to add the shimmer shade on the lid. Okay, so I'm gonna go in with the shimmery shade from the Desix Katie Dose of Colors collection. I'm gonna add that like, to the center right here. First, I'm gonna place it with my finger and then I'm gonna go in with the brush. Oh wow, that is so beautiful. Then I'm going to take my setting spray just to wet my brush and like sort of shape it. And I'm just adding the shimmery shade to the center. I don't want to add it all over my lid. But I'm thinking of making it go like up a bit. And then I'm going to take my 227 brush from Zoeva and just blend out the edges. I want like the extra oomph, so I'm gonna add a bit of glitter just on the center. So I'm gonna use this glitter right here from the Tati Beauty palette, and I'm gonna add it to the center. I'm just gonna use my finger first. I don't wanna add too much, just a tiny pop on the center. So there's quite a bit of fallout, as you can see, I have so much glitter here. First of all, it's a good thing that we're doing the eye makeup first. And I'm just gonna do the exact same thing on the other eye. Okay, so this is more or less what I want. Now I'm gonna add just a tiny bit of black on the outer corner, just to deepen out that shade. Just a touch, not too much. I don't wanna disrupt that glitter. So now, so this video is not five hours long, I'm gonna do my liner and my lashes off camera and I'll be right back. So liner and lashes are on, I only did I like a half liner, I didn't wing it out all the way just because I thought it looked better for this look. Adding this lash was the struggle of my life for some reason, it would not stick. <laughs> I used these black 125 lashes from Ardell, these ones right here. For my liner, I used the NYX liquid liner in the shade matte, and I also used the Lash Sensational um, Paradise Mascara from L'Oreal. So now it's time to move on to the face makeup. I'm gonna use my Too Faced primer as always. I hope my fingers are clean. I had some eyeshadow before on my fingers, but I cleaned it off. And I hope there's none left so I don't add it to my face. For foundation, I'm gonna start with my Charlotte Tilbury foundation in the shade 4, which is medium. This foundation is a bit too dark for me, so I'm just gonna use a tiny amount on like the high points of my cheek because I love the glow it gives. And I'm gonna mix it in with Hourglass foundation in the shade beige, these like st stick foundations they have. And I'm just gonna add it where I get like more oily. Both of these foundations are too dark for me. I'm gonna use a lighter foundation Benefit Happy Foundation in the shade 3, which is this one right here. I'm just gonna add a tiny amount 
And I'm gonna go in with a small face brush. This is my Kiko Kabuki foundation brush. And I'm just gonna blend the two, found, well, the three foundations in. And then I'm gonna use my Beauty Blender. I'm gonna drag it down my neck as well. I really hope I'm not gonna get it in my brows. Now I'm gonna use my Juno & Co sponge and I'm just gonna blend everything in. I'm switching from the Beauty Blender just because I feel like the sponge doesn't um, soak so much product. It almost, almost fell. <laughs> Plus it's so affordable, it's like five or six euros. Uh, you just can't beat that price. Okay, now it's time for concealer. And I'm gonna use my Too Faced Concealer, the Born This Way Concealer in the shade Light Beige. And I'm just gonna use this basically to correct and then I'll use another concealer to highlight. So I'm just gonna add a bit here where my dark circles are, maybe around the nose a bit and a bit. Can't do a straight line on the bridge of my nose, so I'm sorry about that. I don't know how people do that, but I can't. So my line on the bridge of my nose is always crooked. So I'm just gonna blend. Actually, for this part, I'm gonna use a brush just because I want it to be more specific. And then I'm gonna blend it out with my beauty blender. Plus here, I want to make sure I have a sharp line. Now I'm going to go in with my sponge. And I'm going to do the same on the other eye. Now I'm going to take a tiny bit more of my concealer and just add it right here because it's where I have like the most dark darkness of my beautiful dark circles. Also, if you're interested and you have dark circles like me, I have a video on how to cover them up. So I'm gonna link that video up here so you guys can check it out if you want to. And I'm just gonna blend this with my sponge. So in order to highlight my face, I'm gonna use the same concealer I used the other day, which is my Huda Beauty Concealer in the shade Nougat. I'm just gonna add a dot. I don't wanna add too much because this concealer is potent. So I'm gonna add a bit on my brush, add it where I wanna highlight. So the chin, the forehead, the nose. And this side, I'm gonna blend it with the sponge. And you can see it already brightened up the face so much. That's why I don't want to use too, too much. I'm gonna add another tiny dot on the other side of my face. For a second I thought it wasn't recorded and I was like, <gasps> no way, and I already did like half the video. <laughs> but I'm recording, so thank God. Okay, now it's time to set everything. So I'm gonna use my RCMA translucent powder as always. This sponge is so good for baking and for setting your face. I love it. So I'm gonna make sure that there's no creases under my eyes and bake a bit. I don't normally bake too much under my eyes because I have pretty dry skin. And if you have dry skin, I don't recommend baking. But because we're using a lot of foundation, I wanna make sure it stays put. I'm gonna keep on patting it under my eyes. I'm also gonna take a fluffy brush from Real Techniques. This is the 102 brush and just make sure because I also dragged the foundation down my neck So I want to make sure it's set because I don't want to get the foundation on my shirt, you know Now it's time to continue with the under eyes The other day I finished the look and I didn't do my under eyes I'm gonna use my brush from Ubu first and I'm going with the shade Poet from the Tati Beauty palette And just gonna add it to my outer corner And I'm gonna bring it in. But focusing it more on that outer corner. And then I'm gonna blend it with my 330 brush from Morphe. I'm actually dragging it down quite a bit because I want it to be quite smoky. Now I'm gonna take my B75 brush from Morphe and I'm gonna take the black shade and I'm gonna add it right here, just like a, a small amount, very, very tiny amount. 
so it can connect to that eyeliner. Just something like this, nothing more. I'm actually gonna bring it in, but as you can see, I'm not dipping back in. I just want a very tiny amount of black. I'm gonna go on with my Maybelline Sensational Mascara, this one right here, just because I love the one so much for the lower lash line, it's a lot easier to use than the L'Oreal one. So I'm just gonna add some mascara. Okay, so now it's time to finish the rest of the face. So I'm gonna use my Hourglass Bronzer in the shade Radiant Bronze Light. I'm gonna use my brush from Better, as always, my dual fiber brush. And I'm just gonna bronze a bit. A bit of the nose. And a bit here too. So I'm gonna go in with my bronzer from Marc Jacobs in the shade 102 Tantric, this one right here. It's the same bronzer as always that I use. I'm gonna use a more specific brush. So this is the Tulip brush from the EXO Beauty. This is from her vegan set. And I'm just gonna add a tiny amount. And for my contour, obviously my Hoola contour from Benefit. I'm gonna use it on my Zoeva brush. And this is the 109 Luxe Face Paint Brush. Gonna make sure my face is super contoured. Now it's time to add some highlighter. So I'm gonna use my highlighter from Wet n Wild, and this one is in the shade Precious Petal because I want a very intense highlighter. And then I'll I'll wet my brush a bit so it's more intense. I'm gonna add a bit here as well. I'm gonna do it now. I'm gonna spray it. I'm gonna take a bit more and just had it very lightly. I'm also gonna take a Morphe M431 brush and, oh, I was gonna use this as a mirror. <laughs> and I'm gonna add it to my inner corner. And I'm gonna take a clean fluffy brush and make sure it's, the inner corner is blended. Cause I feel like sometimes you can tell where the like the inner highlighter starts and where it ends and I don't like that. I want it all to like blend together. And after 100 years, we are almost done. We just need to add some lipstick. And I think for today, we're gonna keep with the burgundy theme. So I'm gonna do like a burgundy-ish lipstick. So I have this Essence Long Lasting Lip Liner. This one right here. And this one is in the shade 10, Rary On My Mind, number 10. And I'm just gonna outline my lips first, as always. So I'm thinking I'll be mixing two shades. So I have this L'Oreal um, liquid lipstick in the shade 868 Cacao Rush. First, I'm gonna add the darker one. Hmm, I like it. And these smell like chocolate, so it smells so amazing. I'm not the best at applying liquid lipstick, but I'll do my best. I'm going with a brush just to get in those inner corners. So I'm just gonna take a small brush, I'm gonna correct everything. Okay, I think I'm gonna keep this shade. Okay, so I'm just gonna take some concealer. I'm speaking like this kind of like way. Okay, I'm gonna use some of my Too Faced concealer to clean up, as always. So I think I kind of managed to clean everything up. Um, it's so hard for me to put on liquid lipstick, I swear. It takes me ages and I have to clean it up and it's just ugh. If my lips look a bit wompy, I'm sorry about that. <laughs> Meanwhile, we're gonna use some setting spray. So I'm gonna use the Mario Badescu setting spray, the one that has rose water. And as you know, I don't wanna wet my hair, so I'll just put my hand like this. And we 
are done. So um, please give me some ideas and give me your opinions because they matter to me so much. And yeah, I just wanted to create this look for you guys so you have some more options. And yeah, guys, I really hope you enjoyed it and I hope you have amazing holidays. I'll see you in the next video, guys, as always. Bye!